Nerds Order Music. I am well, your host, Metal Mayhem. Today we have a special interview from our friends from Brazil. What's up, guys? Hello. Hey, hey. hey. What's up? Uh, let's see. Fuck. Um, <laughs> so tell everyone what band you're part of. Uh, yeah, we, we are from, from XT, from Brazil. And I'm Jonatas, Jonatas Pesqueira, the best player, bass player, and he's Felipe Ervoso, the vocalist. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Yeah, we are actually, uh, actually, we, we started the day uh, recording some stuff, some new stuff, Ooh. and yeah, and make some shoots, uh, some uh, playthrough. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we were actually recording a one take performance, uh, vo vo yeah, vocal, vocal performance, performance of a uh, letter to my ghosts and what I've become. Nice, I cannot wait to see those come out. <laughs> oh, tell me a little bit. About, tell me a little bit about yourselves. Okay, <laughs> you start. You start the band. <laughs> you, you know so, it's from start. Yeah, so it all started. Uh, I'm so sorry that meme from TikTok just came across my mind. Like, it always started with my mom and my dad. <laughs> oh, I remember that too well. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so, it all started with me as a solo project. Um, I'm a guitarist too. In 2016, um, I was really depressed anxious and music just saved my life and then i don't know how to explain but everything just just happened and then we're here now just making music we decided that putting vocals was the was the okay <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. Sorry. The point is, uh, I'm the band for I think one year now, right? One year, yeah. probably. Yeah, almost one year. Yeah. Before it was just Felipe and Lohan, the drum player. Dex drum player. Uh, yeah. Sorry. He, he, I don't know if you know already, but uh, Lohan is not. Too. Yeah, he's not yeah. in the band anymore. But yeah, at that time when I first entered the band. Uh, it was only Felipe and Lohan, and so me and Pagani, another guitarist, now the only one guitarist in the band because he's just singing. Um, so now uh, we are looking for, actually, we have already a new drum player and uh, another guitar guitarist, and we are five now. Yeah. And yeah, maybe you are the first one to know that besides yeah. us. <laughs> yeah, probably actually i'm excited to actually be the first yeah <laughs> yeah <it's pleasant. laughs> and but yeah they are good friends i play uh we play together for years now in another project and yeah we are really excited for the new moment in, of the band but yeah nice that's, that's amazing that's that's great what made you guys think of the band name that's what i'm curious about <clears throat> okay yeah uh, uh, the band name actually came from anxiety, as as I told you before, uh, I was struggling a lot. I cannot move. I cannot get out of bed because of my anxiety and then depression. So I started the band with the name Anxiety, but uh, at the time our Facebook fan page uh, was just flooded with. Uh, Michael, follow up or you? Um, nope. institutions, yeah, institutions of uh, mental illness, you know, about anxiety, yeah. anxiety and uh, this thing. So, and if you type uh, anxiety on YouTube, you are the last, we're the last thing to, to show. So, we just decided to kind of shorten the name. Yeah, it's, it's easier to find. If, if you try to, to, to look for something about XT, it's much easier than to find the band than search for anxiety. anxiety. Because when, when you search for anxiety, the, you know, the, the band is just 
something in the middle of the, the flush of information about uh, mental health and, and things like that. Yeah. So X is more uni. That's the point. I was honestly going to guess that. That was, that was actually my first guess was anxiety. That was like my very <laughs> first guess. So I'm glad I was in the ballpark. Yeah. yeah. Right. What kind of music inspired you guys to get into metal? Um, yeah. Dude, uh, Metallica. <laughs> like, I cannot express how much these guys influenced me. Uh, and then Lamb of God. And, and then I got into the modern side of metal with um, Artacts, Monuments, um, They Seeker. Polaris. 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 What about yeah. you? Yeah, it's almost <laughs> the same, but yeah, I would, I would say also Pantera. Dream Theater. Dream Theater, yeah, the prog metal is huge in my life um i don't know maybe iron maiden yeah, yeah. when i when i was young it's... oh i know that feeling i used to listen to all those growing up myself i love yeah it. yeah especially like limb of god and iron maiden i just i fell in love with that then yeah, i got into black sabbath and i moved up to the newer stuff and then i started exploring the underground a lot more after the music saved my life because the underground is what saved me so i started really looking into underground and I started this project up, so it's been really fun so far. How does the song making process go for you guys? The song process, dude. This is totally. How can I say? Uh, can you take it? Lucky process. It's a. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I'm out of words. <laughs> okay, it's all right. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, it's a it's a lucky lucky process, you know. It yeah. just happened. It just happened because yeah. Any questions about the process of the creation? Um. <laughs> that's it uh it, it, sometimes it, sometimes it happens sometimes it just happens on its own i, I do i do get that yeah I, I like to to not force something i just grab my guitar and then i start uh fidget, please fission i don't know the right word for it coming out uh, i just start playing and then a riff come out like what I've become, I actually wrote maybe in ninety percent percent of the song. Yeah, yeah, it's almost all yours. Uh, yeah, I wrote that at the beginning of the pandemic of this whole pandemic thing. Uh, actually, before Jonathan and Pagani entered the band, so. It was actually let's uh, resume. Uh, it'll start with a riff, and then we got all together, and we start working with with the melodies, with yeah, the, the, drum the vocals. Yeah, it's we just usually uh, all comes from uh, a single riff. You know, we have a, the first the first riff, and we we start building. Uh, all the, the 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 stuff around this, and it's a process where everyone takes place. But usually, for example, in what I've become, the the main person behind it is Felipe. He made the first riff. Think so song, the main song. Yeah, and so uh, but but everybody everybody uh, have something inside the, the, the melodies and you know but yeah it's a it's a very na natural process yeah i love that that actually brings to my next question what was the meaning behind what i've become because that really did hit hard with me i just fell in love with it could how relatable it is and i would love to know what yeah. the process behind that one was 
Yeah. Yeah, this one you have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll try to to explain with my poor English. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, actually, I got a mentor, mentor yeah. in my life that uh, if I like where I am now, if I like what I've become, <laughs> uh, that's all because all of the bad things that happened in my life, you know, they made me stronger. So I, I tend to try to look with good eyes to everything that happened, you know, all the traumas and, and that's it. That, that's uh, actually it. <laughs> that's a root. I love it. That's that actually really hits hard with me because I can, I feel the same way because like the hardships and everything. I try to look at the positive parts of it and how it's helped me grow as a person. So I do get that. Yeah. That's how I do. That's how I look at everything as well. So hearing that, it made it so much, it made it very rewarding because now I, I can really resonate with that. We all, nice. we all, go, we all go through shit, <clears throat> how life is. And some people look at it negatively exactly. and can't move on. And some people look at it positively and use it to build themselves up, which both yeah. of us have done. That's the truth. It really helps us move forward with our futures. I love that. That is amazing. Yeah, that's cool. yeah. That's great. Let's see. In the video, I noticed a lot of pink. I love that color. I just want to know like, what inspired you guys to use that color more often than others. Actually, it was your idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, I'm a video maker too. I shoot all the videos, the music videos uh, that we, we release. And I shoot and edit and direct uh, and everything. Uh, I like to work with contrast, like the if it's a really heavy song, let's go with a not so heavy look, you know. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that. That's great. Cause I saw yeah. when I was watching that video, I was like, oh my god, there's so much color. This is amazing. Yeah, because <laughs> most of it is like most videos like that are like black everywhere, a lot of dark colors. Yeah, yeah. It's nice seeing yeah. a change. Like I love that. Over here, yeah, like beautiful. Definitely not the usual <laughs> pink in metal. That That's actually, that actually got something to do to do with the name too. Like what I become, it's all colors and and happy stuff. And I guess this is it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but I we can ensure you that the next one will be all about black. Yeah, because <laughs> it will be a dark one. The, the next <laughs> song is really dark. Yeah, it's a really it's another uh, experience. Yeah. It's another atmosphere. It's actually uh, if I got back to those days when I couldn't move, when I couldn't exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. That's great. Like, I love all the contrast work you guys do with that video. And I love how you guys always switch between with each music video. I love it. One time nice. is black, one time is pink. You guys know, get so creative. I find that to be amazing. Because you don't see that much in the middle nowadays. It's mostly just all black and brimstone. Yeah, yeah. It's nice Thank see, you so much. It's nice to see a, a hint of color every so often. Or in your case, a lot of color. I fucking loved it. It was great. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Thanks. Of course. I, mean, honestly, like I, love, I love seeing creativity like that. It's beautiful. It's it makes it a lot like it makes it more worth watching in my opinion. Because not only does not only is the song good, but you get all these nice vibes going with it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Like the, all the scenery and the color. It makes it a lot nicer. Then the bubbles and everything. I'm like, this is actually really nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was, yeah. That was actually the uh I can make a follow. <laughs> That's actually the the bubbles and 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 stuff. Oh, it actually everywhere everything just meant together to the what I become and party. Yeah, and we try to represent better now. represent the the lyrics uh, in a way that makes sense in the image, you know, of the the, the video clip. So yeah, yeah we, we think that the color and the the place where we, we shoot and everything 
for us, we think it's related to the lyrics. I yeah. don't know why, but the, the atmosphere is related in our mind, you know? Hey, sometimes so, it all just fits into place. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. it. <laughs> That's why I love it. It's like there's so much diversity in one video, but yeah, it all fits into place perfectly. Nice, yeah. That's the best we part. I'm glad of you it. like it. Of course, like I saw my friend this. My friend, mind you, has never heard metal in his life. I showed him this. He's like, "Have been missing out." I'm like, "Yes, you have." <laughs> Honestly, because my friends, they know I'm like the biggest metalhead. But they always go, "Why do you listen to metal?" It's all screaming. I'm like, "Have you have you actually read the lyrics?" Like read the lyrics, yeah. you'll learn why I love it so much. Yeah, that's exactly. Actually, I never wrote a lyric that didn't make me cry. <laughs> oh my god right. when it comes to music that makes me cry i respect that a lot because honestly the yeah. songs that i listened to that made me tear up it goes from currents to well you guys too like when i first heard what i become i was in tears because i can yeah. really do it so well that's why i love it like the harder it hits to me the more i respect the artists and the music itself it's just like thank it, you so much dude. It's special i mean we are about we are all about love and doing what we believe you know yeah, this is the, the main message. Yeah. That's great. We'll never release something just for money, just for fame, and just for... That's, that's it. That's why I spend more time on the underground, because when you go to the mainstream, everyone's doing it. Everyone's just doing it for money, where the underground, you see a lot more heart and soul into the music. Hence why I spend yeah. more time in the underground than I do anywhere else. Because yeah, there's more heart just... into it. There's more effort put into it. It's actually beautiful. It's not just, oh, we're going to do this to make money. No, they put their hearts and souls into their work. Yeah, that's important. Exactly. That's why I respect the underground a lot more. Do I guess this is the real meaning behind music, you know? Yeah, it should be. Exactly. That's how I thought it's always been. Mainstream just ruined it. That's why I love yeah. going down to the underground. <laughs> like, that, that feeling is still there. It's still very much alive. Exactly. Like, honestly, I spent, my friends are like, listen to new stuff. I'm like, hell no. See, I listen to new stuff, but in the underground, fuck mainstream. <laughs> so mad at me. They're like, why? I'm like, have you listened to Mainstream versus Underground? I played them your track versus a new song. They're like, yep, you're right. It's way better. I'm like, exactly. <laughs> it was hilarious. Like, I got like 10 of my friends hooked on what I've become. They love it. Damn. Um, five of them actually you... cried up like I did. <laughs> yeah, I cannot express uh, enough how this, it means to us. Like, it's a, a really, a, sorry, I'm out of words. It's all right. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. It's totally fine. I get it. I really do get it. Essa sonho de trabalho feito. Yeah, eles são cumpridas. Yeah, mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, it's a mission accomplished feeling for us. <laughs> Great. Honestly, like metal saved my life more times than I can count, and it's always been the underground metal because there's so much, yeah. heart, so much heart in it. Yeah, and finding artists who do it the same way just because it helps them as well is just amazing. Because that's what Actually, it is. That's, that's why I love metal. It's pure emotion. It's from the heart. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's what I like the most about it. And that, and, and again, uh, coming back from the for the beginning of the band, where I was, I try to kill myself sometimes. <laughs> oh, I've been there. I've done the same shit. That's that's, yeah. that's actually where metal saved me. I almost off myself. Then a song came on the radio. It was by currents and that shit broke me and I realized I shouldn't be doing this to myself. Exactly. This is this is actually the the meaning behind some tattoos of mine, you know. <laughs> awesome. So that's it. Metal say in my life I cannot express how I cannot express uh, enough how much this band uh, means to me and how much uh being able to share our news and our message with the world now uh means to us you know it's really important that's why i love that's why i started this whole page up is to spread the music of people who, who actually put their souls into their work that's why i started up this whole project of mine yeah and seeing the responses like this has made it all the more worth it to me actually your work uh is uh how can i say this it's a gift for for everyone, you know. I try my best. Uh, I really do. Thank you so much for for putting it out everywhere. Of course. I'm out of words again. It's <laughs> <all right. laughs> 
it's totally all right. You don't need to apologize. <laughs> Maybe I need some coffee. And some yeah. coffee. Oh, I've been there, uh, buddy. I've been there. I'm distracted. I'm anxious. <laughs> it's a mix oh. of feelings. <laughs> oh, dude, I totally get that. Like, I know the exact same feeling. <laughs> that's how I am. That's how I am before I hit. That's how I am before I hit record on any interview. I'm like, oh shit, can I do this right? <laughs> I know the pain. Yeah, it just imagine for us like uh, we're speaking English, you're speaking your native language. We are just trying. Our, my brain is like, I think in Portuguese. <laughs> or I try to, to 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 think in English, but my. Uh, <laughs> I'm out of words again. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't need to apologize. It's totally fine. I get it. I work in groups all over the. I talk with groups all over the world, so I do get the language barrier. I really do understand that. Yeah, but uh, actually, here in Brazil, uh, we do not speak English so often. Like in Europe. Um, yeah, it's, in Europe, it's really common to, to learn English at the school, at the primary yeah. school. I mean, uh, we have English here, but when you are already a teenager, I would say. Yeah. So uh, it's harder to, to, to learn. If you, if, you have, if you really want to, to learn English here in Brazil, you have to pay some uh, private course and learn by yourself. I don't know, but at the school, it's it's really yeah. something missing. It's not common. Yeah. yeah. I guess that like 5% of the of Brazil speak English, you know? Yeah, no, yeah I, I get not... that. I mean, it's sometimes difficult for people to talk over like, to each other through different countries because of the language barrier. That I, I totally understand. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, for writing and reading, it's really normal for us because all the time we have contact with, with this material yeah i mean everything is in is in english yeah. nowadays but we don't have many experience uh, in conversation you know yeah no i, so, I get you yeah but yeah we can try <laughs> hey that's all that counts that's all that counts <laughs> yeah let's see Oh, I'm trying to think of my questions. I totally forgot. We got so caught up in the conversation. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> what was the best advice ever given when starting music? The best advice. I know one. Hmm. Not sticking to just make music. I like that. You know? Yeah. Like, uh, how can I explain this? Nowadays, we need to be... Basically everything, you know. Uh, yeah. We need to know, know about marketing, video editing, all audio, audio production. Yeah, yeah. mixing, mastering, and, and yeah, we you have to know your knowledge have to be uh, bigger than just playing, just making music. That's it. You have to the, the expertise have to be much much bigger. You know, you have to know something about audio production. And video production and uh, self marketing, marketing, yeah, self marketing, social media, yeah, everything, everything. Mainly in Whoa. Brazil, <laughs> yeah, mainly in Brazil because everything here is really expensive, really, really, really expensive. expensive. So it's really not easy. Uh, usually, people here that play some music and have have band bands, they have to work uh, with on other things. Because making money with music in Brazil, it's almost impossible, yeah. really. It's working. And so, so that's it. If you if you really want to 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 have a, a, a band, uh, you have to learn more about things that are not exactly music. And I don't know if it's good, if it's not. But it's the reality, at least here in Brazil. Yeah. Like you gotta be like a jack of all trades so you can get your shit out, basically. Exactly. Your stuff. Yeah. I get I totally jack of all trades. That's all I used to do. I used to try to get into video editing for like I used to make games and stuff myself. So I tried to be a jack of all trades and it didn't work out for me. Nice. I totally switched up my majors and just 
else. But yeah. no, I, I do get that. I like that to learn Same everything. Here. Learn everything here. just to get one thing out. And Actually, uh, we are just. Uh, como é que eu falo que a gente é autossuficiente? Yeah, we, we do everything by ourselves. Yeah. Almost everything. Almost everything. We record ourselves, he mixes everything, he mixes and master. Uh, uh, I shoot the videos. Um, I mean, the, the, all the, the images and the, how can I say, the, the visual production uh, is made by him. Um, the oh, marketing, yeah, yeah we, we try to do the marketing properly. That's the hardest part, I yeah. think. Because, yeah, we are just learning every day how to uh, work together with the Instagram and Facebook and the algorithms. Yeah. It's not easy. So we are trying to learn because if you, we, we could pay some, someone to do the job for us. But it's really expensive. Yeah. And we have to, all the time, we have to be releasing material. And if, you, if, you had, if we had to pay for everything, for all material that you are releasing, uh, it would be impossible yeah. for our budget. budget. Yeah. So yeah, that's, uh, that's not easy, but yeah, that's the only way. You're trying. <laughs> We're trying to, yeah. Yeah, I, do, I totally understand that. And hey, trying is all you really can do. I do get that aspect. Yeah. 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 My, I have a few more questions to ask. My, well, the one I'm about to ask right now is, if ever given the opportunity, what band would you love to play with? <laughs> you, you first. <laughs> mm. Wage war. Just one. Just one. Just one. Well, you can go. You can go longer. It doesn't matter. <laughs> free rain. Oh, free rain. Wage war. Wage war. Hmm. Wage war. I would say Bring Me the Horizon. Probably. Damn, I forgot. Bring me I the love horizon. Their stuff. <laughs> Maybe I, Arctic. Uh, yeah. Bring me the horizon. Now that takes me back. I got into them yeah. when I was around high school. Yeah, they are incredible. They are great. Years. Yeah, I'm That's I'm glad they're finally cool. getting back to their old ways. Because I went with like a little pop rock feel recently. And now they're getting back to their metal roots again, thank goodness. Yeah. 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 The new album is just... Yeah, I just love the new album. Awesome. It was great. I love Obey. That track was so good. Obey's perfect, yeah. Obey's awesome. Parasite Eve, one by one. Yeah, that's a really good job. Yeah. I love what they did with that. They got really creative. Oliver is a genius. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Like, he's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh. His his girlfriend is from Brazil. I don't know if you know it. Oh, I never but, knew that. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. he's, he's here, actually in here. Yeah, he's in here just right now. He's, uh, I think, two hours from here. This what's the name of the city? Ubatuba. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah nice. He's, so he's, he's that's awesome though. That you guys live near him. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. Ubatuba. Ubatuba. <laughs> <laughs> I need to visit Brazil sometime, I swear. The weather, if it's that nice, I have to check it out. Yeah, that's a yeah. nice place. Brazil uh, is a really beautiful place. I can, uh, it's really hot. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, that's great. And I, I, I've always wanted to go there, to be honest. Like, I've always wanted to check it out for like the longest yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, who knows? Maybe just I'll come see. here. We'll take you. Yeah, just <clears> let <throat> us know when you come. Will yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I put my phone. Hey, guys, I'm in Brazil. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's can, good. I do that a lot when I when I got to Italy. Uh, oh, I'm in there I, forever. I miss that. I miss going to Italy. Italy is awesome. I uh, it's beautiful. It's I cannot. I'm out of words again. <laughs> <laughs> I went there once because that's where my family originated from. So I went to I went to go visit there. It was so beautiful. I loved it. Nice. I nice. Things. I'm yeah. actually becoming an Italian. Nice. I'm getting the visa. The, the visa? Yeah. I don't know how to how how that works. Yeah, because <laughs> there are many um, Italian um, descendants in Brazil. Yeah. Uh, you can see my my surname is Pesquiera. It's a an Italian surname, and you are from your your grandfather. 
My grandfather is from Bolivia, not Italy. Yeah, it's rare because, but really, ever everyone here, uh, it's kind of Italy. Italy. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like my my father family is from Italy. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Their surname is uh, Lot. L O T T. Lot. Yeah, I don't know. L O T T. Pagani Italian to me. Yeah, Pagani, yeah. Our guitarist is Italian too. Uh, Pagani. 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 <laughs> uh, Vacari. Vacari. Our drummer too. Our drummer is Italian too. Everybody is Italian. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I love the diversity though. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like you see it everywhere. I love I love seeing it in music the most because like, like I said about the music video earlier, there's so much diversity in it, yet it all fell into place perfectly. And I love I love seeing that because you don't see that yeah. much. In, you don't see that much in metal. Yeah, it's not common, right? <laughs> You're actually the first groups I've seen who've done it. <laughs> I'm honored. I'm honored. <laughs> I love. It's like it's it's great. I've never seen that before. I I I just kept I, that made me fall in love with the video all over again when I rewatched it. It's like, <laughs> it's so good. I love all the yeah. create like the Rubik's cube, the bubbles, everything. Like it was just so <laughs> yeah, awesome. the cube. I love the cube. The Rubik's cube. <laughs> the nerd stuff. I love the nerd stuff. You know, the nerdy like the cube. Yeah, we need the... to do that again. <laughs> uh, I loved it too. I'm a big nerd, so I, I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> That's <laughs> why we're, 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 we're called Nerds Order. <laughs> yeah, nerds yeah. Me my <laughs> he does everything with games and comics. I do all the music stuff. We just split everything up. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you guys again so much. This has been great. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. I'm going to cut it here. This has been another Nerds Order interview. Everyone take care and have an amazing day. Oh, God.